Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a tutorial on this look right here. Oh, and by the way, it is the exact same technique um, that I did in yesterday's video as far as adding the depth and dimension and creating that definition for the hooded eye. It's the exact same technique. So if you guys want more of a detailed instruction than what I give today in this video, then watch yesterday's video because the technique and the style and the, everything is exact same. Um, so for today's look, I use the Elsie Minimalist Palette, which looks like this. I got this last year and I love this palette. Like all of these shades in here just speak to me on so many levels. I love this palette. If I could only have one out of all my hundreds I guess I'd have to take this one because this just gives me everything that I need um, I also dipped into the Kat Von D this is the shade and light glimmer palette so it's the exact same shades as what is in the matte version but this is the glimmer shimmer version love this palette like I look at this and it just mm, takes my breath away um, all right, so if you guys are new here, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Lauren Jade. I do tutorials that revolve around hooded eyes because that is the shape that I have. I'm also 57 as of like three days ago. So I have mature, crepey, wrinkly skin, so I work with that as well. And I'm always learning new tips and tricks on how to create that definition for that hooded eye and I'm passing them on to you guys. I do talk a lot, so just let you guys know because I love to kind of show how things are so I do talk a lot and hopefully you guys learn something so yeah that's it I want to keep this intro short and if you guys are new hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you will be a part of my hooded eyes um, notification squad over here and then you'll be notified of all of my future uploads if you hit that notification bell bell and that is it i want to keep this intro super short so yeah without further ado let's just get into this video all right so i've already went ahead and primed my eyes i use max paint pot in soft ochre and i lightly set this um primer with just a little bit of translucent powder you guys know i live and die by bronzing the crease um but today since this palette has the perfect shade that's really close to all of my bronzers i'm just going to use that this is the elsie minimalist palette this palette breathes life into me. I love this. This has every single thing I could ever want in an eyeshadow look for me. Oh, I love this. All right, so I'm taking this shade, and I'm going to grab my mirror so that I can see. And this is going to act as my bronzer. I'm just going to dust this out here first, just kind of stipple this in. And then I'm just going to take this right on my socket bone right here. Just going to kind of swirl that to the inner corner. kind of. And then when I get to the inner corner, I'm going to pick up a little bit more product, tap off, and I'm just going to kind of swirl in the inner corner there. Take a little bit in through here too, just so it kind of all connects together and kind of brush up towards the brow. You guys know the drill at this point. I do, but it's not quite dark enough for my winged liner. So the next step I'm going to do is my winged liner. You guys know that I skip around a lot. So I'm going into the Kylie Extended Palette and I'm taking this beautiful Brick Sienna shade here. And that is going to be my crease. I mean my winged liner and what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna start out by I'm gonna start actually towards the end of my because I have slightly downturned eyes I like for my liner to be a little bit thicker on the outer corner and then it gets thin as I get towards the inner corner but I'm gonna start out here and right at my lower lash line actually I'm gonna start I think this is what I did yesterday. So, and I'm just going to start at almost towards the end so that I can draw a line straight up. And it's going to kind of have a little bit of a bow to it. So it's going to kind of curve just a tiny bit, like a hair. And I'm taking it just a little bit past my natural crease. So I'm not going very high with this. Feel free to customize this and take yours a little bit higher. And now I'm gonna start at my lower lash line at the very outer corner and just start connecting it to that line as I go up. This is just a really simple way 
to get a little tiny baby wing. And I like this step because this works as tape. So now I have a guide. So now I know that I'm not taking my shadows past this. And it really helps to keep everything, I mean, you get a little bit of elongation with the wing, but you also get um, everything lifted upwards. And now I'm going to switch to a flat definer brush. This one is from Makeup Forever, and I'm just going to stamp. I'm going to kind of really stamp the root of this lash line right here. It just kind of makes it look a little bit thicker. All right, I really don't like a large wing, so I take mine to kind of like this little thickness right out here and I forgot this is a hourglass number 10 angled liner brush so this is only about as far as I take my wing now when I get to blending my shadows this wing is not going to be as deep and as intense as it looks it's just going to be a little tiny baby wing I'm going to continue stamping along the lower lash line also with the same shade I'm just going to Kind of wiggle it and just keep it really really close in i'm not going to take it all the way to the corner i'm just going to kind of go about three quarters of the way and when i go to smoke out my lower lash line this will also get blended so i'm just stamping this i'm going to map out my lid space i'm not sure if i'm going to go with a peachy shade or if i'm just going to use you know, like a bone colored white shade. So I'm gonna take this shade from the Minimalist palette and I'm going to just kind of carve out my lid space. I haven't yet decided if I want to do a white white or if I wanna do a peachy, but I wanna kind of get some color laid down here. All right, so now I'm going to kind of show you the benefit of putting in this winged liner and how this really kind of helps to define the shape and just kind of starts to give your eyes some definition. So, um, all right, so my socket bone is right here, and now I have a little bit of an elongation, um, so my eyes don't look as downturned as they are, and I have a little bit um, of an uplifted, so it not only looks a little bit longer, but now I have that illusion that the eyes are not so downturned and they are lifted upward. So I'm gonna take a M441 from Morphe. A lot of times I use this MAC 224. This is like an amazing transition shade brush, but I'm just gonna use this. I wanna give all my brushes a little bit of love because I have so many. So I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more and I'm gonna really kind of start to define and map out the shape a little bit more. And you can see now I've already got Kind of a base so I'm not going to go past here so I'm working right here in my socket right here and I'm just going to start to kind of bring a little definition in here and then I'm going to take a little bit on the inner corner here in my inner corner socket and I'm just going to lightly connect them So now you can see that I have a little bit more definition going on, especially with this wing right here. I just love doing it this way. It's just a method that works really, really well for me. All right, so before I go any more, I'm going to take a little bit of this bone color shade now, and I'm going to just kind of swirl this out here and just catch the edges of that transition shade and just kind of make everything light and airy. Favorite part I'm going to add a little bit more depth dimension and definition to this hooded eye by putting in the fake crease and this is really going to bring some definition into the eye shape all right so I'm going to use this shade right here this is a shade that I always always use for my or for my um, fake crease I, I just live and die by this these sienna shades so yeah this is 
the shade that I always use. And feel free to use whatever brush works best for you. I like this little angled liner brush and then I like to go in with a bigger blending brush and smudge it out and soften the line. But I like to use an angled liner brush and this one is a Sephora Pro 207. It's got a smudger on one side and the angled liner on the other. And I'm going to start the same way that I always do. And I have pretty much in depth in the yesterday's video that I did. So go ahead and check that out for a full description on doing this step. So I'm just following my natural eye shape here. I'm not going to be winging this out. I'm just right in the socket and I'm just following the natural shape of my eye socket. And then when I get to the end, I'm going to connect it to my winged liner right here. So this is going to go up and this connects right here. All right, so now I'm starting to get a little bit of definition. As you can see, we're defining this hooded eye. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this light brown shade and I'm going to stipple that right on top of that line and that crease right there. Just going to pat this in and then I'm just going to lightly blend this out. I like to draw my fake crease and create that with um, a angled liner brush, but you can even use a, this is the Sigma E25. You can also use a brush like this to create that line with. It does not have to be an angled liner brush. That's just what I like to use um, because it works best for me and that's just what I learned on, so I actually like to do that, even though I honestly do think like a pencil brush or, um, you know, something like the Sigma E25 or like the MAC 217, um, because it does have a little bit of density and thickness to it. I even think that that works probably just as good, if not better. So just whatever brush works for you. I have gone into my Kat Von D um, shade and light and I'm grabbing this white shade um, because the bone color shade in the LC minimalist palette was not bright enough I really wanted to make this really bright and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into this is the shade and light in the shimmer version of this which is just stunning and I'm gonna take this really pearly white shade Mm. Oh, and this shade right here would just be a knockout for this look as well, but I want to do a white. So I'm going to just, I really want this to really pop and have that contrast. And by the way, for this step, I'm just using a BH Cosmetics concealer brush. Mm. I just love how this looks. Honestly, I love that contrast. Mm. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm just going to dab a little bit on the inner corner here. And I'm going to take this Dosa Colors pencil brush and I'm going to go back in and kind of redefine the crease, which is always a good idea after you've done your lid. So I'm going to pick up this shade that I used to create the fake crease with. And this time I don't want a harsh line. I don't need a line um, because I've already got the shape mapped out. So I'm going to do with this a pencil brush and just go and put back in that fake crease line. Just kind of re-intensify it right on top of the shimmer. 
All right, so we are almost done. Now I'm gonna take a clean brush. This is my Iconic London. I don't think this even has a number on it, but I know that this is absolutely clean, so I don't have to worry about any product being on this brush at all. And I'm just going to feather out all of this end here because I want everything nice and airy out here. And I do that with these bone color shades, which are literally like little magic erasers. If you ever feel like you have your shadow up too high or it just it's not exactly where you want it, you can just kind of drag these little bone color shades down and they just magically erase everything. And I'm gonna go back in with my original Sigma E35 that I know has a little bit of stuff on it and just kind of swirl out here. Mm. I live for this type of look. That completes the look. I'm going to touch up now my face just really quickly. I'm going to use the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow. And I'm just, then I'm going to throw on some highlights. And that completes the look. My favorite highlight at the moment is my Ofra highlighter. And this is in the shade. Beverly Hills, I'm going to grab my highlighting brush and I'm going to just kind of swirl all of these colors together. This highlight just pops. Mm. I used this on my video yesterday. Mm. Mm. Oh, so, so pretty. So pretty. I might take, I'm going to grab my pencil brush. I'm going to take a little bit of this white shade here and just like really pop in that corner just for a little boom because why not? I know. I have to quit saying that. It's so annoying. All right. I'm going to spray this face and that will complete the look. All right, so for today, I'm going to use my Kylie Setting Spray. Mmm. Oh. Oh, I love this look. It's giving me all kinds of vibes. I'm loving it. That's it, you guys. That completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye.